What is up? My name's Drew, and you're watching Upstate 208. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today I wanted to go over uh, something that is kind of like a mythical mythical being in the snowmobile world. And that is, where is the POW? Where is that sick riding spot that you keep seeing on social media, but you just don't know where it's at? Well, I'm here to tell you, and if you've been snowmobiling at all, uh, you know, over the last few years, I'm sure you picked up the drift, but most of the time, the guys posting on Facebook of the epic spot that they found and the epic powder and the perfect trees aren't giving you GPS location as to where they're at. Uh, you hear things like Hush Puppy Peak, No Tell em Saddle, uh, gosh, what's some other ones? I don't know, I can't think of them right now, but nobody is super, uh, you know, excited about giving out their secret stash spot. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have some friends, some buddies that know where to go and show you these spots, that's one thing. But what about the guy that doesn't have that? What do you do? Well, I'm going to tell you what I have done to help find some epic stash piles out in the mountains. Uh, the first resource that I use is Onyx Hunt. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with all... Uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with that. Uh, Onyx is much like Google Earth. It's just got a little bit more detail on land ownership. And uh, the cool thing about Onyx is you can save off-grid maps so your phone does not have to be in service. So if you know where you're planning on going riding and it's an area that you're not super familiar with, you can download a map uh, the night before or whenever and that map will work even when your cell phone doesn't have service. So that is a uh, crucial item in not only just safety and navigating and you know even if you're riding trails and you're not familiar with where you're going, it's a good idea to get on there, uh, download the Onyx app, you gotta pay for it now, I forget how much it is, but it's worth it. Uh, get that thing and study the area of where you're going. Uh, Google Earth is the second thing that I use a lot of. Uh, Google Earth is not going to work if your cell phone doesn't have service. I think you might be able to preload a map, um, but then you're kind of constantly having to make sure that your phone isn't getting like shut down and turned back on. It's just not super reliable. So Onyx, I've found, is the way to go with those offline maps. So you guys, if you want to find the secret stash, the epic spot, you have to be willing to explore. And by explore, I mean... All of the easy, you know, sleigh spots that are right off the side of the trail, that's a gimme. Everybody's going to go hit those things. Uh, if you're riding a day after it has been snowing and there's two feet of fresh, then yes, all those spots are going to be awesome if you're the first person or second or third person out through there. But for the most part, we don't always get that option and we've got to wait four or five days after a heavy snow before we can ride and we're always trying to find the fresh. So I have learned uh, in using Onyx and using Google Earth and being willing and able to explore, uh, you can find those stashes. Get on and study the area that you're gonna be riding. Take a good look at the aerials and where you wanna go and just start looking for spots that look good. Um, you know, whether it's opened up a little bit more or whatever your riding preferences are, once you learn to look at an aerial view of that, you can certainly start to understand what makes for good riding and what it, it doesn't. And sometimes you get you get stumped. You know, you get out to a spot that you think is going to be awesome and it looks good on Google Earth and Onyx, but when you get out there and you're actually in it, it just doesn't it just doesn't work. It's steeped or it's cliffed out or there's creeks or whatever. You can't get to it. So my uh, my biggest suggestion is just study where you're going, know where to go, have a plan. And the other thing is, is be willing to explore. Uh, you've got to have riding partners that are capable of getting off trail and bushwhacking a little bit and getting through the nasty stuff sometimes to get to that epic spot. 
And then you, you can be that person posting, look at this sick spot we found. So it just takes a little bit of effort and conscious decision making and saying, hey, let's find a sweet spot. Study it the night before, the week before, whatever you gotta do, and then go get that spot and slay that fresh pal and just have fun. You guys, I appreciate you tuning in. I just wanted to do a quick little video on where to find the epic stash pal, pal stashes. If you have any recommendations, thoughts on how you do that, please feel free to share them. You guys, if you are watching these videos and you're digging what we're doing, I certainly would appreciate your support. So please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, give us a comment, check us out online at upstate208.com and get yourself some swag. Until I see you again, take care and happy riding. Mm -hmm.